In this lesson, we'll export an NC file for specific toolpaths. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to create NC files for specific toolpaths and use manual NC to add an optional stop to a program. Let's carry on with the file from our previous example and let's talk about ways in which we can export these toolpaths as a group or individually. The first thing that I want to do is rename some of my toolpaths. So I'm going to rename my 2D Adaptive 2 to be Soft Jaw Roughing. One of the reasons I want to do this is because these comments will be in the code and it'll help me identify what the toolpaths are we're looking at when we're just viewing the code. The next one I'm going to do is Soft Jaw Finish. And lastly, my 2D Contour is going to be my G54 Probe Location. So now I know exactly what each of those is. If we select Soft Jaw Setup 2 and select Post Process, what we can do here is we can select a machine that we want, in this case milling. We can select a manufacturer and a specific machine. In this case, I'm going to select Haas Pre-NGC, and then we can post this code. The program number is 10002. The program comment is Soft Jaw Setup 2, and we can select Post. I'm going to save it to my computer, and then we're going to take a look at the code. Remember, we renamed the toolpaths inside of this group just to make sure that it was easier for us to identify. So we have our program number, and we have our description. We have information about the tools that are used, and then we have each toolpath. So we have our soft jaw roughing, and if we scroll down, we can find our soft jaw finishing. And all the way at the end, we want to locate our G54 pocket, which should be a relatively small bit of code. So the G54 probe location you can see here is essentially just a handful of movements to cut that geometry. Let's go ahead and close this out. And now let's just look at posting portions of our setup. If I select only the roughing and finishing and I exclude the G54 probe location, and again post process using the same machine, I'm going to change my program comment to soft jaw setup 2 without probe. And we can also adjust the program number on the fly as well. We're going to say yes and save it and then take a look at the code. Now we should see that the quarter inch end mill is no longer used. And if we scroll down, we're not going to have our last operation, which is our G54 probe location. So even though these are all in the same setup, we can simply program it once and we can just decide what bits of code or what toolpaths we want to export. So this is a great way to use this over and over again. And we could also incorporate a potential stop in the program. So while someone's running it, they can just pause and end the program on the fly. But ultimately, it makes more sense to post out specific code that can either have or exclude the G54 location. If you want to manually create code, we have the option to come into Setup and use Manual NC. When we use manual NC, we'll put something inside of our setup, and you'll notice that the manual type can be a stop, an optional stop, and we have a lot of other options in here. For example, starting or stopping the chip transport, which in most cases is going to be an auger in the base of your machine. So if we use an optional stop and say OK, then what we're doing is we're putting this optional stop inside of the code, which means that while the machine is running, it's going to be getting to that point and then it'll pause and it'll wait for the operator to proceed past it or to stop the code. Let's go ahead and post soft jaw setup 2 and take a look at what this is. We're going to leave this as 10002. We're going to overwrite the one we've already created. And we're going to see what the optional stop looks like in our code. So inside of here, we can see that we have our probe location. While we're looking at the code, the M1 that we see here on line 1341 is the code for optional stop. When we're looking at code, the G code is generally going to relate to the motion of the tool in the machine and referencing things like can cycles. The M codes will do things like turn the spindle on and off, decide which direction it's going, the speed of the spindle, and so on. For example, down here, we have tool 10 M6, which will have a tool change, and then we have M3. If we change our code, for example, if we come back to our manual NC and we edit this, 
and we change it to, for example, start chip transport. Starting chip transport will be a different code that gets placed inside of here. So again, we'll post this out. Again, we'll simply overwrite it. And then we'll scroll down in our code and we'll look for that. So now you can see instead of M1, we have M31. Depending on the reference that you're looking at, M31 can potentially be called chip auger forward. Uh, it could also come up as an interlock setting. There are different ways that this gets posted out to different machines. So depending on the post configuration that we're using, we might see a slightly different variation of what code is included. But by putting in this manual bit of code, we're able to signal to the operator that this part can either be done or the part needs to continue if we want that probe location. So again, there are various ways that we can do this. We can keep that in there or we could potentially simply post code without the G54 probe location. I'm going to edit this operation and I'm going to put the optional stop back in there and then I'm going to save my file before we move on to the next step.